If you ask me, the two of them are at it. Eastman and Miss Beauvoisin. At it? In a relationship. It's possible. I was thinking, sir. Oh, oh, yes. About what you were saying earlier. Why kill a man who's already dying? Answer, to stop him changing his will. Ah. The vicar's already told us Richard Bailey had decided to change his will to benefit the steeple fund. Maybe that's why he was killed. That, too, is possible. I wonder if he had a solicitor. Ah. It is a pleasure to see you again, Chief Inspector, Sergeant. Even though, as I recall, the last time we met was when one of my clients had the <laughs> grave misfortune to be um, murdered. Precisely. And now Mr. Bailey, too. <laughs> How can I help you? We've been led to believe that Mr. Bailey was considering changing his will to benefit his local church. Oh, that may be the case. He had, however, failed to communicate that to me. It had been some months, indeed, since I had last spoken to him. Can you tell us who actually benefits under the terms of the will? Oh, Mr. Bailey was a wealthy man with no dependents. The bulk of his money he left to uh, Mrs. Margaret Green. Uh, she lives in Perth. Scotland? Australia. There are some smaller bequests of various charities. He did, in fact, leave £500 to the Church of St. Michael. That won't get them very far. No. You say he was planning to change his will. Perhaps he was going to give them more. Eh? <laughs> but I suppose we shall never know. Well, that was a waste of time. Oh, I don't know. Why did Richard Bailey lie? How? According to Stephen Wentworth, Richard Bailey had already begun to make arrangements to change his will. He was quite clear about that. He wasn't just thinking about it. He'd already begun. Or maybe he called another solicitor. Or maybe, or maybe you're right, Troy. Well, that'd make a change. Maybe this has all to do with Ty House. That's what seems to connect them. Richard Bailey, Agnes Sampson, Ian Eastman. And David Whiteley. And David Whiteley. The one man who's benefited from Richard's death. Stand. Come in heaven! Why? 